Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, VRD of Another Dimension. Well, just done for a wee short one like always. Well, I thought I'd do a video today on PSVR 2, coming over to PC. Two or three weeks away, looking forward to it. As we all know, we need an adapter, so we do. 60 euros, dollars, pounds. Well, I bought a PC, gaming PC, back in, back in December. Took me about a year, about a year to save for it. Cost around, it was, it's a 46 day, cost around 1600, 1700 euros, right about that, because I wanted a, a, a PC gaming rig for VR. So, about February, right about February, I bought a Quest the cost me around 550 euros so I was over 2000 had spent well when I played Phasmophobia I played Phasmophobia didn't like the, the graphics so it didn't so starting to think was it a waste of money then round right about March Sony comes out Sony says well PSVR 2 is coming to PC. Couldn't believe it. Then that's what I said. That's what I said. It is a waste of money. 550 euros down the drain. Because I was, I was going to buy Half-Life Alex. So I was. But then, Sony came out and announced that. Me, whoa. That's a 60 or 70 dollar euro game. I'm going to wait. Sony announced August, me, I'll, I'll wait the August, simple as that. So do you have a PC? Do you not have a PC? Are you bothered, are you not bothered? Are you looking forward for coming over to PC? I certainly am looking forward to it. There's no doubt about it, as I'm saying. They are expensive if you don't have one, so they are. But... As I said, the games won't change in PSVR 2. The games will keep coming. As I'm saying, you'll still have the haptics, the eye tracking, the head rumble, what well, you won't have in the PC. And you don't have the HDR, so you don't. So that, there is a big difference there. As I'm saying, no HDR for the PC, but you're still going to have the brightness you know what I mean, the, on the OLED lenses, it is going to make a big difference. There's no doubt about it. It will make a big, big, big difference. The, it'll be better than the Quest 3. I'm sure of that. Because the pancake lenses, it is dim. As I'm saying, I prefer the brightness with the OLED. To me, it's a clear winner. It'll be hell over, hell over heels better than the Quest the quest the symbol is that thing well we're gonna have a lot more games simple as that but now no one absolutely no one can say the psvr2 doesn't have any games now there's gonna be a huge library there so that one should be and will be brushed to the side for sure well as i'm saying to me can't wait absolutely can't wait to play Half-Life Alex. I've never played Half-Life Alex before. Heard so much about it. Absolutely unbelievable game so it is. And that straight up on my on my number one list. I'm sure that a big percentage percentage of you out there are dying to check out Half-Life Alex. I'm sure there's a quarter that haven't never played it before. As I'm saying, it's once I get that adapter, I'm straight in half life Alex. It is expensive, around about sixty or seventy euro, but doesn't bother me. That's my number one. I don't know. Send me some comments. See what. Tell me what your number one is. But that's certainly my number one for sure. Well, everybody, just in for a wee short one, like always. Hit a like and subscribe. 
it does help a channel, it really does, it is well appreciated. Until the next time, you take care, God bless, and happy gaming.